The president and allies together agree that they are on an irreversible course to end the war in Afghanistan, an agreement the president called today a milestone moment. The timetable that we've established is a sound one. It is a responsible one. Uh, are there risks involved in it? Absolutely. Uh, uh, can I uh, anticipate that over the next two years there are going to be uh, some bad moments along with some good ones? Absolutely. The president today cemented plans for what the end of this war will look like. Afghan troops will take the lead in combat missions by mid-2013. Afghans will have full responsibility for their country's security by the end of 2014. Right now, just half of the population is under Afghan-led protection. And finally, an international commitment to support an Afghan security force after 2014. U.S. officials say the cost will be about $4.1 billion a year, with the U.S. likely to pay more than half of the bill. I don't think that there's ever going to be an, an optimal point where we say this is all done, this is perfect, this is just the way we wanted it. Uh, there's a process. Mr. Obama met with Afghan President Karzai, and today both leaders held a remarkable impromptu meeting with Pakistani President Zardari. Relations among the three are strained, and U.S. and Pakistan relations have especially deteriorated since U.S. Navy SEALs killed Osama bin Laden on Pakistani soil last May, and since a NATO-led airstrike last November mistakenly killed 24 Pakistani soldiers. We need to work through some of the tensions that uh, have inevitably uh, arisen after 10 years uh, of our military presence uh, in that region. At issue is now a NATO supply route that Pakistan closed after those November airstrikes. Now, an agreement to reopen that route would help the relation, which would be the first step in repairing that relationship. And tonight, a senior administration official tells me they're very close to reaching an agreement. Nora O'Donnell, thank you very much.